I come today bearing another great news. New Zealand is currently recruiting care assistants to come over to New Zealand and work in New Zealand. One beautiful thing I, I like about New Zealand is that you can move from your home country to New Zealand with a permanent residence. You don't need to wait for so many years or work in New Zealand for so many years before you can be able to get a permanent residence. You can get it directly from your home country. And today we are going to be talking about how you can move to New Zealand as a care worker to come and work in New Zealand with a permanent residence. Another beautiful thing about this particular route is that you can come in with your children up to 24 years. They are 24 years and below are allowed to come with their parents to New Zealand to reside in New Zealand with them, work or study in New Zealand. So it's a great opportunity. A lot of countries do not allow this. UK usually do from below 18, US 21 and below. So you need to take this New Zealand work route serious because it's an amazing opportunity. There are a lot of parents out there struggling on how to move with their children that are over 18 years. So if they are up to 24 and below, they are allowed to come to New Zealand. So you can check out New Zealand because it's a great opportunity for you to move with your family. The beautiful thing is that remember, you can also move with your dependent. So today I'm going to show you where you can check out things pertaining to this visa route and how you can get a permanent resident to move to New Zealand. If you're new here, my name is Ogi. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. Click on that like button so that YouTube will also recommend this video to others. If you're new here, go to the comment section and write, I'm new here so that I will come there and welcome you properly because I'm glad you are joining this channel. To my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for always being here. So let's go now and check out on the New Zealand government website. We're not going to any other website, rather on their own so that we can check out what they have said about care workers visa and see how we are going to go about it so that you can move to New Zealand. Okay, this is the government website of New Zealand. If you see here, New Zealand Immigration, this is their government website. And this is what the government is saying. No other person is saying it, but the government of New Zealand. Care workforce work to residence visa. Okay, apply for this visa if you currently work for or have a job offer from an accredited employer. If you watched my last video on New Zealand, you will see where I talked about accredited employer. I'm going to put the link somewhere in this video so you can also check it out if you have not watched it. So um, you need to have a job offer from an accredited employer and you have worked in a care workforce role for 24 months. So you need to have worked in a care workforce role for 24 months in your home country before you can be able to get a job and move to New Zealand. If this is you, then you can apply after getting a job offer from an employer. You can come here and apply. Length of stay, indefinitely. If you get this, you don't have any issue about getting a visa to move to New Zealand. You can go in into New Zealand and come out whenever you like in New Zealand and go back again. It's indefinitely. This particular um, visa would help you stay in New Zealand till when you are qualified for your citizenship. Okay? So if you qualify for your citizenship, then you can get your citizenship. But the moment you get this visa, you have no limit of when you can stay in New Zealand. Then the age range is 55 or younger, 55 or younger. The cost from New Zealand dollar, 4,290,000 New Zealand dollar. The thing is this, about this cost, that is where sponsorship steps in. If you are going on sponsorship, your employer will most likely take care of this money. So this money shouldn't bother you. 
With this visa, you can live, work, and study in New Zealand. Include your partner and dependent children age 24 or younger in your visa application. Things to note. At the time of your application, you must be working for or have a job offer from an accredited employer. Accredited employer is just like um, in the UK, they call it licensed sponsors. They are accredited employer in New Zealand. Okay. Your employer must be full time. Your employment must be full time and permanent or fixed term for at least 12 months months you must have been paid at least the care workforce sector sector wage rate for 24 months okay wage rate requirements for visas if your partner or children have visas to study work or visit based on their relationship to you you must include them in your application so this is on the new zealand government website you see this visa is open this visa is open so you can currently get this visa and move to new zealand and one of the websites where you can be able to find accredited employers and the job they are advertising is on seek.co.nz seek.co.nz that's one of the websites the new zealand government always recommend for people to go and check out for jobs that can bring them to New Zealand. And let's go and check out these jobs. Okay. This is seek.co.nz. And then um, you can search for jobs on this website. Let's search for jobs. Um, some of you do not know how to navigate these websites to be able to find the job you are looking for. You need to come here and put in um, a keyword put in the keyword you are looking for let's say we need accredited employer then you need to type accredited employers okay and then classification we are actually looking for jobs in healthcare if you are looking for jobs under construction and lots more you can check them out okay there's accounting administration and office support advertising arts and media banking and financial services call center and so many of them construction engineering farming animals and conservation but here today we are looking for healthcare and medical okay there's 88 jobs okay then you can also decide to narrow it down or if there's a particular type of healthcare job you are looking for you can narrow it down there's one for dentals there's a for general practitioners and um, ambulance paramedics so you can choose whichever one you want then you can click on seek okay if you click on seek it will bring out these jobs for you so that you can be able to go through the job descriptions and apply Okay, this one is for GP and NP, ProCare. That's the name of the company, ProCare. Okay, so if you want this job, you can check it out. You can see it was uploaded nine hours ago, nine hours ago. And this one is 17 days ago, clinical psychologist. If you have experience as a clinical psychologist, you can come here and apply. Physiotherapist okay check them out check these jobs out and go and apply there are so many jobs here for healthcare workers you can check them out then another place you can check out for jobs in new zealand is trade uh, me trade me trade me is another place trade me.co.nz is another place where you can be able to apply for jobs and move to new zealand okay so you can check out some of the jobs here you, just the same thing you click on jobs and um, come to search bar keyword you enter accredited employers accredited employers and then go to category and choose whichever you want okay this video is for healthcare workers so you can choose based on your own category
location is all New Zealand. All right. Then you search for jobs. You search for jobs. And he brought, he brought out 276 results for accredited employers, support staff, and loads of them. Please go and check these jobs out. All right. So I hope this video was of great help to you and you can, you, you can be able to navigate through these websites and be able to get a job that can move you to New Zealand with a permanent residence. Remember that you can move with your family and New Zealand is a beautiful country with a very high minimum wage that would enable you to take care of your family and take care of yourself, even help people back home who you would want to render help to. Please. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Like this video so that whenever I drop amazing video like today's video, you would be able to get a notification and come and watch the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. But until then, take care and bye.